eyes on the border as President Trump prepares for a national address from the Oval Office. Local 23's Derek Garcia is outside our studio. Derek, a lot of questions on what the facts and what President Trump will say. What are you hearing ahead of his speech? Good evening, Brenda. There are plenty of mixed reactions on social media and with elected leaders across the country and here along the border. Now, some are claiming that President Trump will lie and use inaccurate statistics, specifically about narcotics and terrorists coming across the U.S.-Mexico border. Those along the border have said a wall is not needed, including Democrat Representatives Henry Cuellar, Philly Monvela, and State Representatives Eddie Lucio, and more. But Senators Ted Cruz and John Cornyn support the wall, and earlier today, Senator Cornyn took to Fox News to share his thoughts ahead of President Trump's address and the use of inaccurate numbers to push for a border wall. When you hear that the vast majority of numbers of people who would hurt us, that, that violent threat coming into the country, arrives by plane, what do you say then about making an argument to the American people that we need more money for the border? Wall. Well, I, th well, I think the, the experts, the people I listen to, are the Border Patrol leadership, people like Manny Padilla, who was the uh, Rio Grande Valley sector chief until recently when he was promoted. But as he explained it to me, really border security is three things. It is barriers in places that are hard to control. It is technology, uh, ground sensors, radars, drones, and uh, other technological uh, devices used to, to supplement the barriers. And then it's people. Our parent company, NBC, is offering House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer to make their case, which is more in line of what border representatives have said, that a border wall is not needed to have border security. Now, this all comes as President Trump is set to arrive in McAllen this Thursday, and if the government remains shut down by then, tens of thousands of nearly 800,000 government employees impacted by the shutdown will not be paid on Friday.